back and why am I being arrested? Keep, Keep walking, walking backwards. Why am I being arrested? You're being detained. Okay. Stalkers are some of the most disturbed people in society. They're so obsessed that they'll do anything to stay close to their victims. He's calling me. Hmm? He's calling me. Should I answer? Don't answer that. Okay. But what do they say when they get caught? What? Did you have contact with her recently? Absolutely all? not. No? Like, no. I think it was like five days ago? Nope. No, anything like that? Nope. Well, you're about to find out. Yes, she says she went to the hotel. <coughs> so I thought she might be with someone, so I just wanted to see who it was. Okay. So uh, that's why I put the tracking device. Ramesh put GPS tracker on girl's car. We begin with Ramesh, who was arrested by police in Gwinnett County, Georgia, on September 7th, 2021. After a woman called the police saying a man had placed a GPS tracker on her car and was following her after she told him to leave her alone. So yes, I filed a police report on him before like a year or two ago okay. because he was sending me harassing emails, voicemails, calls, texts, and I wanted it to stop. He wouldn't stop. I, that was in Gwinnett County. Filed the police report, told him about it, okay. and it stopped for a long time. Recently, okay. more recently, maybe fast forward a year, two years, he reaches out to me again. He says, I'm sorry for everything, and we talk as friends, and everything's okay. All of a sudden today, I'm getting emails like, where are you? Who are you with? What are you doing? He was looking for me for two days and, like, calling different places, trying to find out where I was. He looking in parking lots for my car. Okay. Think places where he thinks I would be. And he finds my car, and I guess today is when he put a GPS tracker he on my car. He claims he put a GPS on. That's what he told me. He said it's either, it's on the left side tires. I don't know which tire it's under, but he said it's like a magnetic device that's stuck under my car. He said he put it in the wheel well? I don't know. Now I'm just kind of... Yes, please. If you can take it off, I would really appreciate that. Police take these situations very seriously, and Ramesh is about to find out just how serious. Hello. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good. Good. Uh, my name is Officer Wynnum with the Johnson Police Department. I don't know what, what, what's going on today. Okay, so that's the first time I did this I just thought she might be with someone, so I thought to see where she was. That's all I did. I didn't do anything else. I didn't. I never had any criminal history. Okay. Like I just wanted to see where she was, and I um, wanted to leave her. Who? What's your relation together? We hang out for two years. You guys are so you guys are like friends. Yeah, kind of like friends. Okay. Not girlfriend, but so that's what I did. And I said I would never contact you again. I destroyed the device. Please, this one time, let me go because I, I'm like a, I'm a student. So oh. this is the one time. <coughs> so what? What's what you said? You said you thought she was with someone tonight. Yes, she said she went to the hotel. <coughs> so I thought she might be with someone. So I just wanted to see who it was. Okay. So jealousy is a common theme among stalkers. Uh, that's why I put the tracking device. Other than that, I didn't do anything else. So you actually put a tracking device on her car? Yes. Okay. Where Where is it at? Uh, under the like, car. Under the car? Yes. Is it on the driver's side, passenger uh, side? Like on that side wheel. On this side? Yes. Under this side. Under, uh, the, under the wheel right here? Not under the wheel, but like in front of the wheel, but on the metal surface. On the metal? Okay. Yeah, I will destroy it and I will go and do, I won't do anything. I can. you have your ID with you? Yes. Can I get that from you? If he thinks coming clean with the officers is going to get him out of trouble, he may be in for a surprise. This is the only chance I need. I'm really sorry. Okay. I understand. It's just a relationship thing. That's it. Were, were you guys a thing? Like, were like, you guys a couple? Like a thing. Like, not like officially, but we were kind of like hanging out and went to like we're going out places and stuff. So we were kind of thinking of that. Okay. I was like working that, trying to work out. You were trying to work that. Okay. Yeah. And so <clears throat> you. So she told you that she was meeting somebody today, no, she like said at a hotel. She at the hotel. So okay, last time we went to the hotel, she said you want to go have a pool time and stuff. And but she said uh, she got a call and she want to go. And I was kind of upset. So I thought she she was li lying to me or anything like that. So I put a tracker on that uh, the other day. And next, like two days back, she said she want to hotel. So I thought she went with somebody. So that's I had a track device like a couple of days back, last week on. So I just used it to track it and see where she was. That's okay. I didn't do anything prime and not, didn't have, have you done that before? No, first time. This is your first, first time? First time and this for her or at, at all? At all. At all? Yes. Okay. He's proud of having no criminal history. Apparently, he can cherish that memory. I never had any criminal history. Okay. Just hang out. I'll be right back. Like I said, I, I need to sort some stuff out. I don't really know what's going yeah, on. I just don't want Cause, to Because everyone's split. Like, I have some officers over there. I'm out here with you. I don't have the whole picture, so that's what I'm trying to figure out, okay? Yeah. I I'll be right back, all right? Yeah. Imagine being so clueless that you call your victim while police are on the scene. He's calling me. Hmm? He's calling me. Should I answer? Don't answer that. Okay. 
forty is clear. Are you still out with him right now? He's attempting to call over here. Hey, Ramesh. For the time being, just hang up the phone. Don't okay, don't I'll try and call it for a second, okay? okay? Just let us sort this stuff out, all right? Okay. Uh, go ahead and step out of the car for me and talk with me back here at, the, at your truck, okay? I'm having a hard time kind of grasping what's going on, right? Okay. So, explain to me, like, what? Give me a rundown about what happened today. Like you today? Yeah, you, you said she was. You know, you had knowledge she was going to a hotel. Okay, she's at <coughs> day before yesterday night. Yep. She said, um, I said, well, where are you? I was like, we were planning to meet. So I said, where are you? She said, uh, I have a problem with like my roommates and I went to the hotel. Okay. She, she but have like tracking device. Which hotel did she go to? Uh, Hampton. So, okay. like since I have the last week tracking device, I never came back here. To, uh, so, I never came back to track her and anything like that. Okay. But since she said she was in a hotel, I just thought to see where she was, if she was like lying to me or with anybody else. Yeah. Because like I said, I was trying to work things out. So, I just... Uh, 210. And just like that, Ramesh is going to have a criminal record. Hey, Ramesh, uh, come over here for me, okay? Yes. All right. At this time, you're under arrest for un uh, no, unlawful, for, surveillance, unlawful yeah, surveillance. Okay. okay. When, when will I get All right, Ramesh, we're gonna step back to the front of my car, okay? Because now you're in handcuffs and you're you're under arrest, I'm gonna I'm gonna search you, okay? Do you have any weapons on you? No. Nothing? Anything in your pockets? No. Uh, no? Probably keychain and stuff, maybe. That's it. So we're gonna have a seat in the back of my car, okay. um, and I'll explain a little bit some more stuff. Because he explained everything he did, he's not going to have much of a defense. He was charged with felony, unlawful surveillance, and misdemeanor stalking. After spending a week in jail, he was released on an $11,000 surety bond and currently awaits trial. Ramesh cooperated and went away quietly, but the man in our next case had some very choice words for the police. Me to jail, but your trespasser gonna leave you let you go. He's not trespassed. He is trespassed. He was trespassed before me. Billy, harassing female store employee. Billy is the suspect in our next case. On May 21st, 2023, Florida deputies responded to a call from a Walgreens employee, claiming that a man frequently showed up at the store and asked her personal questions. He even asked other employees where she was when he couldn't find her. I constantly see him every day. I'm like, hey, Francesca, I'm like, we just started turning weird. Like, you're at the bus stop with me, you're putting your hands over me. And I'm like, okay, I didn't say nothing to nobody in the store. I told my mom. I'm just there sitting on my phone scrolling watching TikTok and I felt this hand around me and I'm like, what the f So I turn around, he's like, oh, it's me. I'm like, you don't touch me. He's like, oh, really? I said, oh, really what? He's like, so I can't touch you? I said, the next time I'm going to hit you. If Billy is comfortable enough to put his hands on a stranger in public, he clearly has bad intentions. Hello. Yes, sir. How's it going, gentlemen? Good. You guys doing all right? Yes, sir. Sir? I haven't seen you in a while. How you doing? You been all right? Yeah. Good. So we're here for some complaints of people on the property. From who? From the store. Really? Really. Playing dumb is what stalkers do best, and I'm sure this is all just a big misunderstanding, right? I just got here. What's your name? Billy. Billy? Yeah. Let me get your license. I know your name, so I don't need your information already. Yeah, I don't know what the complaint is. Did anybody complain to you? Just got here a minute ago. He was sitting over here. I came over to see if he was all right. Okay. Let's stay here. Can I talk to you all for a minute? Yes. He's been here all day. I have not. Okay. I was here five minutes when that officer walked up to me. Okay. You go inside the store at all? I went in to get fill my water bottle. Okay. Yes, I do. Do you have a trespass from this location? Yes, I do. Okay. He just can't help himself, can he? What's up, Francesca? I like Ford at my baby. Oh, that's him. Yeah, that's 100%. Him. 100%. Okay, cool. well, then we're just going to talk to you. Yeah, right? Yeah, because I, I, I remember his name. His ID is Billy Jr., but I don't yeah. remember his first name. Mm -hmm. And this. All right, uh, do you want to press charges against him? Yes, if I feel like I'm being harassed, especially at you coming to the bus stop, that is harassment. But I'm like stalking you. You told them yes, to stop, yes, correct? I don't care what nobody say. That's harassment. You're asking me where I live. Do I need a ride? harassing one of the employees i come in there and i've made purchases you gotta love it when they're so dumb they think they can argue their way out of an arrest it's not like they've ever seen it work what employee is that harassed? one of the people 
tells her. Come in there asking her about where Does he want to speak with us knowing his rights? Never, he, never. He said he wants to speak to us. All right. So Deputy Deputy Joe Torres did a report for a battery, correct? With the victim, Francesca, about seven days ago? Battery for who? For one of the employees. Your name is Francesca, that you were listed as a suspect in, in a case. A battery? Yeah. I was listed in a battery? Yeah. Your name? Remember, a battery? And the battery took place where? Here. Here. At the bus stop. They never talked to you about it? I walked up. She was sitting at the bus stop. And I walked up because she was all by herself out there closing. And, she, and I said, are you okay? She said, I'm waiting for my mother. And how many times has this happened since then? One time. That's One time? The first day she started. Uh-huh. I went in there and I made a purchase in the liquor store. How does he know when her first day was? Sounds like he's been paying very close attention to her. Creepy stuff. Uh-huh. She was working in the liquor store. Uh-huh. I saw her walk over to the bus stop and I went over there and I said, hey, how you doing? Are you waiting on the bus? She says, no, I'm waiting on my mother. For my mother. Uh-huh. I said, okay, I just want to make sure she was in the dark. This was after closing, and she had just gotten into it with one of the employees. Uh-huh. Here, you know, was there any battery battery that was by one of the employees. Okay. Okay. She said, I got into it. He, he told me I had to mop the floors, and I told him, screw you. And he said, she said, I punched up. 30 minutes, approximately. I said, okay. Let's go. And then all of a sudden, as I'm talking to her, her mother pulls her out. Mm-hmm. And picks her up, and I leave. All right. But she was sitting at the bus stop in the dark all did by you, herself. Did you go in today and talk to her today? No, I didn't. No, I did not. Mm-hmm. She was working on the other day. Moved her. They moved her from the liquor store to the other side because the other employee told me she was stealing out of the till and they were running the cameras to see huh? who stole the money. He's making this very easy for the officers. So they moved her to the other side. All I did was walk in there and fill my water bottle up uh-huh. and walked right out of the store. I didn't say a word to her. I saw her beyond the register, but I didn't say a word to her. I walked, filled my water bottle up in the faucet in the water fountain. Right out. Have you asked employees about her or anything like that? No, the employees have told me about her. Mm-hmm. That somebody was stalking her, and they, that, that, that's why she's not working at a liquor store anymore, and now she's moved on to the other side. And the other, one employee told me, well, they're investigating her right now because money's been stolen. Mm-hmm. So there, there's two other guys that got fired, mm-hmm. and they're, they we're investigating her. Mm-hmm. They were running the cameras to see because there was money missing All right. on her shift. And he knows how old she is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Has she told you to stop? Never. And she told you not She's to talk to her? I'm 24, I'm 62. I mm-hmm. understand. <laughs> Come on. Cops usually don't like it when you tell them how to do their job. Billy isn't very good at this, is he? I'm gonna get my backpack. We'll take your backpack. Okay. Okay. You're gonna take me to jail, but your trespasser are gonna leave you, let you go. He's not trespassed. He is trespassed. He was trespassed before me. If he was trespassed, I'll be taking you to jail. You're not trespassed. Uh, uh, no. You'll be going to jail if you're a trespasser. Okay. All right? Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. He was charged with trespassing and stalking and was sentenced to 12 months probation and ordered to stay away from the victim. Hopefully, Billy is smart enough to stay away from the woman, unlike the stalker in our next case, who wasn't. What? Did you have contact with her recently? Absolutely not. No? Like, no. I think it was like five days ago? Nope. No, anything like that? Nope. Torek Inderberg. This is the arrest of Torek Inderberg, who was pulled over on November 25th, 2019 in La Crosse County, Wisconsin, for tailgating an unmarked police vehicle. When they identified him, they were shocked to learn that he was a wanted man, and it was a bad night for Torek. He's in left lane riding some lady's like bar none up against her bumper, and she pulls off, and I hear him revving his engine, so then I get in the left lane to pass the person in front of me, and as soon as I get in the left lane, he just passes me in the center lane. This is who he is. Um, yeah, we have non-arrest charges on him. Oh, you do? Yeah, domestic, some, some sort. Driving with no insurance in Wisconsin is a $500 fine. Unfortunately for Torek, that's the least of his concerns. How's it going? You okay? Um, do you have a proof of insurance for the vehicle at all? No, does your window roll down any farther? Can you roll down? Are there any weapons in the vehicle at all? No. Okay, anything to drink at all tonight? No, why are you driving so erratic? I was uh, I was in a hurry and I thought he cut me off and I just, it was, man, the guy in front of me was like, you know, just slow. I was just frustrated and then that's it. Okay. All right. No, I don't. Who is your insurance through at all? I don't have any. No? Can you roll down that window for me? 
The officer learned that Torek had violated a domestic abuse injunction by driving by his victim's house and work numerous times in a previous few weeks. I don't know who took it, you know, if it was someone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, someone was just, just pulling out with talking, man. Right? Hey, Torek, can you step, step out of the car for me? Man, what's going on? I just gotta talk to you about something. Oh, I'm just. What's up? Well, I want you to step out of the car, okay? Yeah? Okay. What's up? Just walk to the front of my car back there, okay? What's that? What did I do? So, I'm not, I haven't read the report yet, but it yeah. sounds like, have you, do you have a domestic injunction against? Oh, sorry. Oh, well, you just put your hands on top of your head? Yeah, yeah, yeah And I'll yeah, pay you down. Yeah. How about that? Let's just do that. Yeah. Yeah, domestic in injunction? Yeah, I do. I got my ex. Okay. Uh, Sarah. Okay. Yeah. What? Denying that he violated the injunction is all he can do at this point. Yeah. What? Did you have contact with her recently? Absolutely at all? not. No. Like, no. I think it was like five days ago. Nope. No, anything like that. Nope. Okay. She, which? Why would she call in saying you did have contact with her? I did not. Did not talk to her. Haven't seen her. Uh, nothing at all. Okay. I don't, like I said, I'm not 100% sure on what the contact was, but yeah, yeah, we, no, just, I don't, uh, we just have in our system flag that she reported that you did have contact with her, so I'm going to have to read the report and we can talk about it. Yeah, once no, I don't, comes I don't okay. talk to her. Okay. Yeah. All right. When's the last time you had contact with her? Uh, since before all this uh, crap happened. What all? So probate over a year. What Mr. Inderberg doesn't know is that the woman reported him for violations on November 4th and 20th, just five days earlier. All right, and if that's the case, and there might, you know, might just be, she called in and said something, there's no probable cause to make an arrest or something, but I gotta, I gotta verify that before yeah. I release you here. Yeah, no, I didn't, uh, um, no contact okay. whatsoever. All right. Claiming his truck was stolen was the smartest thing he said, but it's probably not going to work. So we're gonna ask you a quick question while they're still investigating this. Is there anything illegal in the vehicle I should know about? No. I'm gonna run my dog around it, okay? If it does alert, if she does alert, she will scratch it, okay? Yeah. Is there any drugs, any been any drugs in the vehicle in the past month, two months? Do you use drugs? I don't know, my truck was stolen okay. a month ago. Did you report it? It was in Vernon County. I was in jail, yeah. Okay. Um. The police discovered that Torek had taken pictures of the victim's vehicle and posted them on Facebook, claiming it was stolen. That's next level stupid. But not nearly as stupid as sending her a message telling her to keep her news alerts on because Torek is going to be famous. Obviously, she was terrified and forwarded the message to the police. Why are you posting pictures of Sarah's car? Why? Yeah. Uh, it's really, it's not her car. Okay. It was uh, Reggie Henry's car. Okay. So why do you keep posting on Facebook that it's stolen? Uh, they, Reggie basically told me that they stole it from him. I have a message to prove it. Okay. Is that any That's your... what Reggie, was told, Reggie told me. Is it any of your business? Um, no. No. I don't talk to him. I don't whatever. I'm still upset. You know, that they, she took all my stuff. He's trying to act friendly and casual with the officers, but his arms have been crossed the entire time. That's a defensive posture that demonstrates anxiousness and fear. What's in the car that they're going to find? I don't know. You don't know? I didn't have anything. When's the last time you used anything? Two months ago? Before I put just a Finding a drug pipe in his truck explains his anxiousness. What kind of drug paraphernalia would be in the car? I don't know. Yeah, right under your seat, man. It's what? Right underneath your seat. It's probably why you're acting so hinky when I went up to the window. I wasn't hinky. I was trying to get my driver's license out, and I knew I was a freaking idiot. Okay. Why? What do you mean you knew you were an idiot? That was it. Was it was out of frustration, and it was a stupid move. He says he doesn't have anything on him except about a gram of methamphetamine they find in his pocket. He probably just forgot about it, right? Promise there's no needles on you? Yeah, there's nothing on you. I'll find the other stuff. I just want to get poked with the needle. There's nothing on you. Put some gloves on. Yeah. Alright. Put some gloves on. Nothing on you. I'm sure they won't find anything else in the truck, right? 
He had meth in his pocket. Yeah. Look at the. What? See? Oh. There's a butt right there. Yeah. <laughs> meth and sex toys. Torek must have had an interesting evening planned. Walk up there when LC gets here and see if, uh, what is the reaction to all this stuff? There's two sex toys sitting well, on the driver's seat. Else. Probably just bought meth from him. He knows the drill and takes it all in stride. He was charged with stalking, possession of methamphetamine, and drug paraphernalia, and knowingly violating a domestic abuse injunction. All as a repeat offender. He's been held in jail on probation violation while he awaits trial. Torek lied to the officers thinking it might save him, but no story was going to save the racist handgun wielding suspect in our final case. Okay, and why am I being arrested? Keep walking why backwards. Why am I being arrested? You're being detained. Okay. Brett Forsell. This now infamous case of Brett Forsell was all over the news. The 49-year-old Seattle man was arrested on July 9, 2022, after U.S. House Representative Pramia Jepal found him standing outside her home, yelling racist obscenities and called police, who found him in the middle of the street armed with a semi-automatic pistol. Okay, keep your hands up. They're up. Turn around. Are you blind? You gotta walk to the cell, my boy. Keep walking. Keep walking. Backward. Towards us. Keep walking backwards. Do we have the arrest team? What are you arresting? Keep for? keep walking backwards. Am I being arrested? We'll tell you in a second. Tell him walking backwards. Walk backwards to the sound of my voice. If he has to ask why he's being cuffed, he's on another planet. No. Okay, then why am I being arrested? Keep walking why backwards. Am I being arrested? You're being detained. Okay. Walk backwards. Keep walking. Keep walking. Can't come through my back. I have a bad neck. Yes. Keep, walking. Okay. Yeah, keep walking. You guys want to move? I have a hernia disc in my neck. Okay, take okay. Take okay. Just relax. Just relax. My neck. Oh my God. Relax. 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 I'm relaxed. You okay. relax. Okay. okay. All, right. All right. I got you. Relax. You've been yours for sure. Why am I being cuffed? We're going to talk about it in a second, okay? Who's okay. Your car? Hmm? Brett has made it clear that he is on another planet by suggesting he's living in a communist country. His obsession with politics clearly hasn't served him well. Uh, While well, you are being questioned, you cannot afford to hire a lawyer who won't be appointed. Yeah, I can't. I'm homeless. I'm homeless. You Do you understand your rights? I guess I'm homeless okay. and mentally ill, so I don't know. Um, I, I appreciate Why your argument. Give me a second. Uh, because I'm house? homeless and I'm saying that camp. Saying up camp at this house? Yeah. Can you wipe your hands? Okay. Thank you. In front of. Uh, so you're trying to set camp at this place? I I'm not trying. I am doing. It. You're doing. It. Yes. Sir. Mm -hmm. That's my right, isn't it? You can set up camp anywhere else in the city, right? This is this person's residence. I don't give. A does, 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 does it matter to the people on Capitol Hill that live there? They set up camp out there and smoke fentanyl in front of their houses. That doesn't matter, right? I don't work in Capitol Hill. Okay. okay. It's part of the city, right? Uh, yeah, it's part of Seattle. It is? Yeah. Wow, you, you, you sound shocked to hear that. You can't camp in someone else's property. If they it's not their it. property, is it? It's, it's property. city property. It is. Where am I setting up right there? Imagine being one of the officers trying to piece together his incoherent ranting. Go find a property line then, tell me. I'm sorry. If I'm being, but that's what it's come down to in this country. Okay. Uh, and if you're going to take me to jail we, we gotta, for nothing, I'm going to sue every one of you. Like we said, you're being detained. Right? You're being detained. I get okay. that. You're I get that. I've done your, I, did your, I did your job long before you did. Okay, so great. So you understand that right now? Yes. I understand only, my only rights. I understand see, all of my rights. To me. What's your name? Brett. Brett. We're going to put you not back on the microphone. Brett. No, you're not going to. Why? Just for now. It's too then hot back there. The Let me stay on the side of the road. No, we can't do that. You could. No. You could. No. You won't. I won't. Okay. Sit in the back of the uh, at least you admit okay. it. All right. All right. Let's go. At least you admit you won't. The department could use this arrest as a training video to prepare new recruits. Wow. Jesus, it takes it takes like an hour to get that oh, many let's people. Go. Uh, step inside the car, please. 
If you we tried to make it easy for you. Make it's it gonna easy be for me, easy. Okay? What's gonna happen if I get in there? Well, nothing more than what you're, you're saying. We're gonna make our you're investigation. Gonna, you're gonna take me to jail for no reason? We're gonna do our investigation right now. We're investigating right now. We don't know what's going on. We need I to figure out what's going on. I will help you with your investigation. Okay? Well, we will listen to what you have to say, but we I want you to that. sit here. No, I'm telling you. I really doubt that. We're gonna listen to what you have to say. I really, really doubt that. All right, you got my word. Your word ain't worth Okay. All right, sit for me, please. This situation could have gone very badly, but luckily no one was harmed. Forcell was charged with felony stalking and a judge instituted an extreme risk protection order, so he wouldn't have access to his firearm. Bail was set at $500,000, and if he made bail, he'd be under GPS tracking, alcohol monitoring, and home monitoring because he told investigators that if he were released, he'd return back to Jayapal's home.